Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Times News 24-7, brought to you by the Noblesville Times Online in Living Color from the Times Studio. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for Thursday, February 3rd, 2011. In our top story today, the second wave of snow and ice swept through Hamilton County overnight Wednesday, causing travel warnings to go into effect and street and highway crews to redouble their efforts to keep the streets clear. Helping in that effort were all public school corporations and many city governments closing their doors Wednesday, as did the Hamilton County government and some businesses. Hamilton County was fortunate that there was not an emergency declaration made. Continuing information on conditions, closing, and more can be found on the individual municipal websites as well as their Facebook pages. Republic Services has rescheduled its dates of trash pickup for the city of Noblesville. Residents who were supposed to have their trash picked up Tuesday will now have their trash picked up next Tuesday. All other residents will have a one-day delay this week. Regular Wednesday pickups will be today. Regular Thursday pickups will be Friday, and regular Friday pickups will be Saturday. City of Noblesville spokeswoman Carla, Carla Culp explained that Wednesday afternoon. Trash pickups will return to their regular scheduled days beginning Monday, February 7th. Because of several incidents of kids and or pets getting stuck on residential ponds Wednesday, the Fishers Police and Fire Departments are asking all residents to refrain from allowing children or pets to go near residential ponds or any other body of water or natural depression. Very thick and slick ice covering virtually all the ground surfaces has led to a few incidents of literal entrapment on the ice due to the fact that kids and animals cannot climb out of the sloped depression on their own. Children and adults should also refrain from any sledding activities on such hazardous surfaces. The ice is extremely hard and can easily lead to head injuries and or broken bones resulting from falls and other collisions. Because of the recent inclement weather and the density of precipitation that was removed from the road, it has been brought to the Westfield City officials' attention that some mailboxes in the community have been damaged. According to public officials, the city ensures residents that it was not intentional, but the city crews clearing the roads have apologized for the inconvenience this may have created. The city of Westfield has a mailbox replacement policy that explains the process for replacing mailboxes that have been physically hit by a snowplow truck. Residents are asked to report any mailbox damage to the city at the City of Westfield Action Center or by calling the Westfield Customer Service Center at 804-3150. The Clay Township trustee, with the full support of the Clay Township Board, has provided automatic external defibrillators for all sworn officers of the Carmel Police Department. All the officers have been trained on the Powerheart AED G3 from Cardiac Science and will be carrying these in their assigned police cars. Weather and sports are up next. The heat is on. The Times and several Hamilton County businesses are helping local residents afford utility costs with our new The Heat is On promotion. The, heat is on. the Times will pay up to $200 for one utility bill submitted by promotion winners. One day each week in February, the Times will publish a promotion page and entry form for The Heat Is On. Entrants must be 18 years of age or older to win, and only one entry per person per week is allowed. Keep your eyes on The Times because The Heat Is On. The heat is on. Today will be sunny with highs around 15 and wind chill readings as low as 9 below zero. Tonight should be clear with lows around 4 and wind chill readings of 8 to 18 below zero. Friday will be not as cold and sunny until midday, then becoming partly cloudy with a high in the mid-20s, but our lowest wind chill readings could still be 5 to 15 degrees below zero until midday. Friday night will be not as cold and cloudy with a 30% chance of snow and lows around 18. Saturday looks mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of snow and highs around 30. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, 20% chance of snow showers and lows in the lower 20s. That's your Hamilton County forecast. Stay tuned for local sports in just a moment. Ever made a New Year's resolution you didn't keep? Let us help. Resolve to read the Noblesville Time and keep up on daily local news. After all, you deserve the best local coverage Hamilton County has to offer. Call us at 773-9960 and ask for subscriptions. Only $62 for six months or $112 for a full year of the Noblesville Time. 
guaranteed delivery in your daily mail. That's 773-9960. Unable to practice because of the weather most of the week, Warren Catholic coach Pete Smith has a huge assignment of getting his Golden Eagles ready for a tough Ritter team, plus senior night. It is the only game of the weekend Guerin will host Ritter on Friday. While most of the teams in the Hoosier Crossroads Conference this week are attempting to position for high finishes in the conference, the leaders of the HCC Hamilton Southeastern at 7-0 will spend the restful weekend away from loop play. Southeastern Idle on Friday will travel on Saturday to a tough Lawrence North. Weather permitting, the girls' swim sectionals will begin tonight. Noblesville will host one sectional with Carmel, Westfield, and Hamilton Heights also attending. Hamilton Southeastern will host the other county sectional with Fishers in attendance. That's your local news for Thursday. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage or pick up a print copy of the Noblesville Times. For Times News 24-7, I'm Stu Clampett.